To plot an equation, simply type it down. After each keystroke, the graph is automatically updated. Once you're done, you can use your mouse to rotate the graph or move it or zoom in it. Let's try another example. This time we plot z equals to sine of x plus sine of y. To plot inequalities, use the less than or more than operators. For example, if you type z less than sine of x, the area under sine of x surface will be shaded with a semi-transparent mesh. You can override the default range to limit the x and y range of your graph. Any equation that does not begin with z equals to or y equals to is called an implicit equation. For example, to plot a sphere of radius 3, type down x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals to 3 squared. In addition to equations, you can also declare variables. To declare a variable, simply type down the name of that variable followed by the equal sign. Once a variable is declared, you can use it in all subsequent equations. For example, here we are creating two variables named a and b. Once a variable is declared, you can change their values either with your keyboard or by dragging the slider with your mouse. Another neat benefit of variables is that they can be used to animate your graphs. Simply click on the play button next to each variable to start the animation. To plot parametric equations, change the graph type from equation to parametric. Then type each of the three components of your parametric equation. You should use the u and v parametric variables in your equation as shown in this example. The range of u and v variables can be changed by clicking on the Override Default Range option. To plot spherical equations, change the graph type from Cartesian to Spherical, then type your spherical equation. You should use theta, phi, and r spherical parameters in your equation. You can use the visual keypad to insert theta and phi characters in your equation, or use control plus 1 and control plus two shortcuts. Click on override default range checkbox and change the range of phi variable to be from zero degrees to 180 degrees. You also need to increase the resolution from five to 15 to plot the details of your graph. To plot the intersection of two graphs, type down the equations of those graphs in two separate lines. In this example, the second equation 
is simply a flat surface parallel to the z-axis. We will declare a variable named t in order to control the z-value of this graph. Before we draw the intersection, let's make the first graph semi-transparent so we can see all the hidden areas where intersection occurs. Now, change the draw style of the second graph from surface to intersection. This will immediately plot the intersection of the second graph with all other graphs. In this case, there is only one other graph in the scene. Now let's make the first graph fully transparent so that we only see the intersection curve. You can import a large set of XYZ values from spreadsheets that are saved in CSV format. Once imported, these data will be plotted as a set of points by default. You can change the color style to multicolor. This will pop up a dialog box that allows you to add as many colors as you like for as many Z levels as you like. If you change the draw style from points to surface, the program will automatically convert your points to a surface. This often makes it easier to visualize your data. You can change your draw style to contour in order to plot a surface with contour lines added to it. You can also change the color and thickness of the contour lines. You may want to turn off the reflection option by dragging the shiny slider all the way to the left. By default, the contour levels are same as z-axis tick levels. But you can add your own levels by clicking on the button with three horizontal lines on it. 